Good morning. Welcome to the English class grade 5th. Hi, this is Hasib Malik. Now, today, uh, a new topic we are going to talk that the most you enjoy in the life. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, that is circus, right? When you hear this word circus, uh, you come to know many uh, enjoyment many other things right many animals jokers jugglers and lots of lots of fun enjoyment and everything yes of course circus is a thing where you get all these things now uh, there are two aspects of every coin you know uh, every side everything has one positive and a negative side and Today, we will talk about the positive and the negative side of a circus. You all, you have always seen a circus, right? That elephants, tigers, other animals perform various tricks. But you know how much time does it take to prepare the, all these things? And many other things behind that also. That what sort of life these animals are living? That is also I wondering. When I saw a circus, first thing which I had come to know that when and how an animal is being treated during the circus time you know where does they live where do they live and then in which atmosphere they come all sort of these questions came into my mind now animals are how they are being treated what sort of training they are being given because it is not easy to make them train to perform any other task they need to be very strict ringmaster and other those who train the animals during this time they face many other problems as well animals how they are being treated what sort of food they are being given and one more important thing that how do they feel when they are being caged in one small cage uh, and all time they need to perform the animals who are being ruled in the forest a big house a big natural house that by living that thing they need to live just in a one cage so all these things came just imagine that if you are in such situation what will you do how do you feel that from your home somebody takes you away and keeps you in a cage gives you your favorite food but then also you just need to live in a small space and when it comes to the training to teach you something you know they use hunters right how means just um, I became speechless that how to express the feelings of these animals we just don't know when we uh, when we go to a circus we just don't know the pain of this animal we just see happy side positive side but dear children just notice just feel you know today's topic which we are going to discuss it's not to read not to learn not to understand it's just to feel and i make uh, i assure you that by the end of this video you will feel a little pain about this animal not very much but little also you will feel that whether is it right or wrong to make perform this animal in a circus yes of course this is the question that uh, the speechless animals how they are being treated okay so today's topic is the circus elephant of course circus elephant the majesty the huge the great animal who is known for many 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 qualities yes elephant consider elephant has lots of lots of feelings emotions right now that here, the poet Catherine Wong has focused, has focused on the feelings of animals. That how animals feel when they are being taken away from their natural home. In the first stanza, the poet discussed about, see, in this poem, how the poet has described the feeling of animals. I mean, what close what close observation has been done by the poet that each and every feeling which an animal which animals face when they are being taken away from 
the first thing the first stanza describes that now does the animal does the elephant remember or miss any kind of morning sounds means you know in forest there are many kind of sounds when you go in forest there are many kind of sounds of birds other animals right uh, winds uh, river streams and many other sounds so here the poet emphasizes that does the anim, uh, elephant remember all these sounds does the elephant uh, want to recall all these things and how he feel when he uh, when the elephant remembers all these things so the first stanza describes the feeling of elephant that the life of uh, forest that in morning in dawn dawn means the time between night and morning so at that time how does the elephant feel the sounds which he used to listen in forest now is he able to listen all these sounds is he able to remember all these things because this elephant has been taken away from its home many years ago from a long time it has been working in this circus second stanza the poet describes wonderfully about the different sounds of the beast beast kings of animal kings of the jungle means the lion the tiger the leopard that is he able to remember the sounds of all these beasts all these animals because you know this animal in forest you can hear these sounds animals make different difference of sound the roar of lion the roars of tigers right and the hoofs of the leopard then uh, in third stanza the poet describes about the ear drums of the elephant that are they able to listen the hoofs of the zebras the huge 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 groups herd of buffaloes those who are rearing moving in the great heat of africa so in third stanza the poet talks about the zebras buffalo in the great heat of africa how they move so all those all those sounds does the elephant is able to remember in the full stanza now the poet talks about the natural sounds you know uh, the sounds of streams rivers winds so you know that elephant is a part of a circus now and it has been a long time he has been taken away from its home so uh, is he able to recall all these natural animal sounds or the many other feelings which he felt at home and you know circus it always moves from one place to another so in sleep at night mostly circuses move from one place to another at night they start their journey so in his sleep the poet wants to say the poet wonders that in his sleep the elephant able to move elephant able to uh, dream all the sounds and he just imagine does he feel to go back to its home has he ever thought so yes of course the elephants the animal whatever animal whichever animal it is it always always remember its home it never forgets its home right so dear children in this poem the poet talks about the feeling and the pathetic situation of the animals in the circus and he also shared the feelings of elephant through the medium of elephant animal only he shared the feeling of all other animals who are there in the circus who has been taken away from their home and they made to work in the circus so dear children i just want to ask you one question is it right to make them work in a circus do you feel just we should go to watch a circus if we'll go then of course uh, we will increase this thing but decision is up to you that is it right or wrong just discuss this thing think it deeply from animal's point of view right because see you also have family and many other sounds you also listen you are you are now used to with all this 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 sound if you go to another place so you of course you will miss your family for 2 3 days 5 days also if you will go somewhere just leaving your family and of course you will miss your family right so these elephants these animals also has their family and they also missed all these things so dear children uh, till that take care thank you have a good day stay safe thank you